But that can have devastating consequences, as NBC's Tom Costello reports. You know what? A girl had beef with me, she gonna have beef with me forever. It's the gangster rap beef that appears to have no end in sight. Shocking news out of New York this afternoon as we are now learning rapper and reality star Cardi B has been arrested for the felony kidnapping of Nicki Minaj. Police say this incident is stemming from the altercation at the Harper's Bazaar Icons party two weeks ago. We are now learning that the misreported account on how Cardi sustained an egg-sized lump over her eye was in fact caused by Nicki Minaj throwing a Grammy Award at her in retaliation for Cardi throwing a drink. On Monday, Minaj went on her radio podcast and threatened Cardi over her throwing a shoe and drink at her. Police say during the broadcast, Minaj can be heard telling Cardi, you're going to die, and then implying she had enough money and influence to do so. This woman is at the best stage in her career, and she's out here throwing bottles and throwing shoes? You're going to die. I'm not the bitches in a strip club, and I'm not a bitch on a reality show. My money is very long, too. We want to warn viewers that the details of this incident are very graphic, and if you have children in the room, please have them leave. Fast forward until early this morning, police were called to Nicki Minaj's hotel after Cardi attempted to end the dispute by offering Minaj coffee as a peace offering. TMZ tweeted this video of Cardi knocking the refused coffee to the ground as she's escorted out of the hotel. Police say Cardi immediately returned to her hotel at the Hyatt Place in Long Island and formed her plan to kidnap the 10-time Grammy Award winner. It's important to note that Cardi B has never won a Grammy, and that's clearly because of Nicki Minaj. Police say Cardi then enlisted the help of infamous internet hacker Peter Eckerwood to pose as Floyd Mayweather in order to trick Minaj into meeting Cardi at the hotel. So basically, I get a text from Cardi B, and she's like, Peter, can you help me get Nicki Minaj over to the spot? So I basically hacked Floyd Mayweather's phone. And I remember that Nicki Minaj's number was on there. So I hit her up as Floyd. I didn't think Nicki would actually fall for this because the way that I was typing to her as Floyd was kind of funny. You know, I'm just like mumbling and stuff and it doesn't even make sense half of the time. And for some reason she understood me because she actually shows up. Police obtained this video of Minaj speeding down the highway in excess of 170 miles an hour in order to get to Cardi B's hotel. Police say Cardi attacked Minaj as she was knocking on her door. Minaj then gained the upper hand when she used a silicone vegetable to defend herself. At that moment, Cardi's neighbor, who we will call Becky, opened her door and witnessed the altercation. So I heard noise and I like walk out of my room and I see Nicki Minaj show up, right? And she starts hitting Cardi B with what like a giant rubber cucumber. So then Cardi just starts like dragging Nicki Minaj down the stairs. I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. So like I just go back inside to finish keeping up. Police say while Cardi was dragging Minaj down the stairs, Minaj gained the upper hand and managed to pick Cardi up over her head and toss her to the bottom of the stairs. As Minaj attempted to step over Cardi B and leave the hotel, Cardi grabbed her by the foot, causing her to trip. This commotion got Becky's attention again. And then I hear more noise out my window this time. So I look out the window and I just see Cardi like stuffing Nicki Minaj in her trunk and like driving off. And that's all I remember. Police say Cardi fled in her Rolls Royce with Nicki Minaj in her trunk. Early indications suggest that she was going to leave Minaj with R. Kelly, but got turned away for being 21 years too late. Cardi was eventually caught and arrested by police when she cracked.